101.3 my fm good morning everybody here we are we're live on facebook right now um let me bring in my first guest who always brings in a lot of people with him when i talk to him remember we we love supporting local business here at my fm and local organizations and we're going to talk about two or three or maybe even four who knows what olivier has got himself into um in the last day or two since i spoke to him but let's bring in olivier from 67 degrees brewing uh olivier how are you good morning ray how are you good thank you very much you got video there or no uh, I don't have video right now. No. Okay. All right. Um, well, Olivia, great to talk to you. We talked to you. Uh, well, I talked to you on my show Friday night and uh, had a blast learning about all the great things that you guys are doing at 67 Degrees Brewing. For people who don't know, you're located in Franklin and you've been there. Actually, you came in at a, uh, a, a an interesting time. Absolutely. Uh, we <laughs> opened last year, uh, February 1st. Um, Saturday before Super Bowl, and it was right about a month and a half before before COVID hit. So it was uh, an interesting year. Sure. <laughs> well, I applaud you for still being here. I mean that that's pretty amazing. Absolutely. I mean, I think we're very lucky to uh, still be around. Uh, we had a lot of support from the community and and a lot of people like you guys supporting us and, and keep us going. So we made it through the winter, and you know we're looking forward to a, a better year this year. Well, the beer there is fantastic. You're always putting out new brews. I want to thank you for the special gift you gave me over the weekend. That was uh, yeah. a very pleasant surprise when I got home from uh, my little time away in East Brookfield. So thank you so much. Oh, speaking of that, you guys, you know anything about Timber Yard out in East Brookfield? I've heard of them, yeah. Yeah, that's my hometown. Though That beer is delicious. If you get a chance to ha uh, head out there, because I know on Friday night we were talking about how you – uh, you visit uh, many of these breweries, not just to see what they're up to, but to support them as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's good to support local. Um, you know, we know that the, the craft uh, field is, is very competitive. So whenever you go out there to shake hands and do collabs and do a meet and greet with these guys, it's always great. Love it. All right. So what are we talking about today? I know we have a few people we're going to bring in. If you can help me introduce them and talk about the uh, collaborations that you're doing with each one of these individuals. Absolutely. So we have uh, Arpit Patel. He's the uh, owner of Barrymore in Newton, Mass. Uh, him and I are working on collaboration um, to do uh, some fundraising for an organization called Myra, the Massachusetts uh, Immigrant and Refugee Alliance. Uh, they do a lot of good work helping people, uh, immigrants and refugees, integrate into the United States. Uh, and then we also have uh, Colin. He's with uh, Stas Strong. Hey, Colin. He, uh, we are partnering with him to do some fundraising for uh, brain cancer research. That is something that uh, um, you know, I commend Colin for doing. When he reached out to us, you know, it, it came straight home because um, in my family we lost someone to brain cancer as well. There was just like a natural uh, fit for us to support something like that. So. All right. Well, let's start with Colin. Colin, tell us about Stash Strong, please. Yeah, absolutely. And good morning. And thanks for having uh, all it. of us. Uh, Stash Strong is a 501c3 that my brother and I started when he was unfortunately diagnosed with glioblastoma, uh, known as GBM, which is the most dire of brain cancers, holds a 10 to 15 month life expectancy. Um, and, and kind of from day one, we decided to do something different and, and start this to raise funds and awareness for Stash Strong for brain cancer research. We have now, fast forward three years and a month, raised over $1 million. Wow. For brain cancer research, including six clinical trials and research grants. Um, unfortunately, my brother passed about 19 months ago, but this is the way that I continue his fight and, and his passion to to do more uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. What is the uh, the website? How can people get in touch with you to learn more? Yeah, so stashstrong.org. So that's S-T-A-C-H-E strong.org. Um, you know, we we're, we're currently doing the collab with 67 Degrees and 200 other breweries across the nation um, as one of the largest U.S. beer collabs this year for brain cancer research, which we're so excited about during May, which is also National uh, Brain Tumor Awareness Month. But visiting our, our website, you can learn all about our family, our story, what we're up to, and how you can kind of get involved. And by the way, nice stash. 
Thank you. Thank you. Is that something permanent or is that something you grow for the cause? It, yeah, it comes and goes. It, it's how our organization started um, kind of organically. It was just my brother wasn't going back to work after brain surgery. We grew mustaches out with them, caught on. And, you know, here we are as a $1 million org, all things sometimes great start organically. And that's kind of what the story with us. Tell me about your collaboration with 67 Degrees Brewing. What are you guys up to? Yeah, so we're, we're brewing. Um, they're going to be brewing a uh, single malt, single hop. So smash for stash is kind of the, the idea with the beer name, uh, doing a non-hazy IPA uh, with us. And we have, again, four other, three others in, in Massachusetts and, and 200 across the U.S. Basically, what, what do breweries do great and are the most generous is they, they, you know, they make beer on a day to day basis. So we figured kind of combine our purpose and our mission uh, with these breweries, especially 67 degrees, having a personal connection to, to brain cancer and, you know, a want and will to join us in this fight. And, you know, throughout May patrons at 67 degrees and, and breweries across the U S can go in have a beer as they would normally do. And also, you know, benefit brain cancer research. This is an amazing community. You got to agree with that, right? The craft brewing industry. Just it, amazing. It's, it's the most humbling thing I've ever been a part of to watch. We, we launched this in January, which breweries still didn't know what tomorrow held. Um, you know, 67 degrees was only what a year, not even a year quite in. Um, and they jump in just immediately and, and wanting to join forces while things are difficult for themselves as well. It is, is truly shows you what the brew community is all about and how impactful this campaign is going to ultimately be. Thanks, Colin. Let's talk to Javier. Javier, you there? You got your mic on. Oh, there you are. I'm here. How Good are morning. you? Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about Mira? Of course. Uh, and thank you for having us. You're welcome. Um, so Mira Coalition is uh, an immigrant-facing advocacy group made up of 130 other nonprofits across uh, the Commonwealth. Uh, our mission is to uh, continue the advancement and integration of immigrants from uh, first generation to refugees. Um, and we offer a bunch of services, not only just like citizenship, uh, but also we're in the front lines advocating for things like va vaccine equity and health access, especially through students. And we are, uh, the organization was established during the 80s. So we're, we're a long time, um, Commonwealth powerhouse always in the front lines for for immigrant advancement and this I mean last year was uh, very difficult for all of us mm. but we know that that work was uh, elevated as in like being a very crucial uh, part of our kind of uh, just culture sure. so this this collaboration is incredibly inspiring and it shows that immigrants also that are uh, small business owners or just uh, people that own restaurants and manage restaurants, they know the importance of the immigrant staff that kind of uh, really continue to be uh, just so critical to, to all the businesses in the Commonwealth. And one of those businesses in Newton is Barrymore and we have Arpit with us. Uh, Arpit, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks. Good, thank you for joining us. How important is the immigrant community to a, a business like yours? I mean, the, the entire restaurant industry would not exist without this workforce. Um, the dining experience is something as the pandemic showed a desperate need of people. And the biggest struggle right now is being able to staff back up. And and the, the workforce that we're talking about right now is pivotal to that. Um, when you want to go out on a Friday night and enjoy a meal out on the patio, the, the, these are the people cooking your meals. These are the people working 50 hours a week. So tell me about your collaboration and how this all ties in with Mira and uh, 67 Degrees Brewing. What are you guys up to? Yeah, so I met Olivier, I think maybe over a year ago now, um, and we kind of started supporting their brewery, started seeing what they're doing, and we saw kind of these collaborations with Staff Strong. Um, we heard about, Olivier mentioned that one, and then we also heard about a collaboration with Night Shift, um, and part of Barmore's vision is to always kind of continue to give back to the local communities. And so Olivia and I have been talking about a collaboration for a few months now. Um, and obviously doing exclusive brew takes, takes some time, but also takes a set amount of liquid you have to sell through. Um, so a critical part of that was to kind of get more local partners on, on board that have a like mind. Um, so we decided on a single hop beer 
it's Idaho seven um, beer and we're calling it hop and lockstep to kind of, kind of explain the inspiration behind the collaboration, kind of everyone walking in, in lockstep together. And it's going to be an $8 pint. That's going to hit the shelves tomorrow at Ooh. seven or eight restaurants. And we're donating $4 per pint forward to me. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Olivier, is there one place everybody can go to to get more information about all these collaborations? Yeah, so uh, you guys should, people should be able to find all that information all on our uh, uh, website and our Instagram. Um, the website's what, 67 Degrees Brewing? Yes, yeah, so it's 67DegreesBrewing.com. .com, yeah. They can get us on uh, social media and uh, we have all that information available. Well, that's fantastic. All right. So we have um, the collaboration with Mira. That that beer is dropping tomorrow. And what about the Stash Strong beer? When is that coming out? Uh, Stash Strong, that should be coming out the beginning of May. Beginning of May. All right. So much going on at 67 Degrees Brewing. We, we Thank you so much for giving back to the community as much as you do. Uh, thank you, Colin from Stash Strong. Thank you, thank you. Javier from uh, Mira. Thank you, Arpit from uh, Barrymore in newton olivier thank you as always and if you guys ever need anything you know where to find me i appreciate it thank you for your support always okay take care gentlemen take care Bye -bye. Guys. all right quick break we'll be right back on 101.3 my fm <laughs>